Today we're taking on MSI's absolute monster, the MEG Z890 Godlike. If you've got this beast in your setup, I'll walk you through how to update the bio safely and keeping it running at peak performance. We'll cover two different methods. First, the USB method, and then the easier software method using MSI Center. If you don't have a USB stick, then no worries, you can skip to part two of this video using the timestamps below. So first, the traditional USB method. Step one, find your motherboard model by pressing the Windows key and type in system information. Scroll a little down until you see baseboard product. That's the exact model of your motherboard. Go ahead and write it down or just copy it. Now open Google and search for that exact same motherboard model. It should usually be the first result that takes you you straight to the MSI official website. Once you're on the product page, click on support and then go to the bio section. Sometimes it says BIOS or firmware, just go to that section. Next, go ahead and download the latest version unless you want the newest one that says beta. If it's beta, I would personally skip it unless you really need one of the features from it. Once the file finishes downloading, go ahead and extract the zip folder. The next thing we're gonna need to do is prepare your USB drive. You'll need a USB stick that's at least four gigabytes or larger. Make sure you format it to FAT32 and if it's not, let's just go Go ahead and format it right now. As a quick little warning, formatting will erase everything on your drive, so back up any important files or photos that you have first. Right click on your USB in this PC, select the format and choose FAT32 and hit start. After it's done, copy over the extracted MSI BIOS folder into the new USB drive that's just been formatted. Next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and restart your PC. As it boosts back up, start pressing and spamming that delete key rapidly until you enter the BIOS. Once you're in, look for something like mFlash or depending on your motherboard, it might show up as Q Flash, Easy Flash, or Instant Flash. Select M Flash, choose your USB drive, and open the folder where you place your new BIOS file. Select the correct file and then confirm to update the BIOS. As a really, really last important reminder, do not turn off your PC during this process and definitely don't do this during a thunderstorm. If your PC loses power mid update, you can break your motherboard, resulting in hundreds of dollars that are just being thrown in the trash, don't turn off your PC. The update usually takes about five to 10 minutes and when it's done, your PC will just restart automatically with the new BIOS installed. You can go ahead and double check by going back into the BIOS and confirming that the version number matches the one that you downloaded. Now for part two, this is the easier way. Just if you have a latest gen MSI motherboard, go through MSI Center. Also, it's really easy if you don't have a USB, you could just do it this way. Step number one, go to the Microsoft Store and type in MSI Center. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click the install button. Once MSI Center is open, go ahead and click the support tab at the top and then go to live update. Even though this exact part right now that we're gonna talk about isn't related to BIOS, I still recommend before you update the BIOS, it's a good idea to check for any missing driver. Click the scan now and install any updates it finds. But do yourself a favor and avoid any of the utilities or tools stick to the drivers only. Most of the other stuff is just unnecessary bloatware. Once all your drivers are updated, go ahead and click the advanced tab. You'll see the latest BIOS version available for your motherboard. Sometimes you'll also see an LED firmware update. I recommend installing that after the BIOS update has been done because it helps you control all your lighting. Once you selected the BIOS update, go ahead and click install. It'll make you restart your PC and the whole process will be done automatically for you. Again, don't touch anything or turn it off while updating. After your system boots back up into Windows, Congratulations, you've just installed the latest BIOS for your MSI motherboard. And that's it for today's video. I really hope it helped you out. If it didn't or you're having some trouble, leave me a comment and I'll try my best to respond to everybody. In the meantime, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps us grow the channel. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.